Proton is an advanced and planned evolution of the kickstage. It operates a high-powered iteration of the flight-proven 3D-printed Curie propulsion system. It can support missions in low Earth orbit with up to a five-year lifespan. The first Photon customers are launching early next year, and we're thrilled to be streamlining access to space for them. We're approaching T minus three minutes, so let's leave it with mission control to follow the remainder of the countdown. And Flo, this is flight on mission call. Please disable power package back and confirm. Oh, to all operators, vehicle is ready. VMS is flight on mission call. Go ahead. You are go for auto sequence start at T minus two minutes. Auto sequence is locked. Avionics, this is flight on mission call. Flight avionics. Please confirm all AV bats have been switched to internal power. Confirm vehicles on internal power. RCO, flight on mission call. This RCO, go ahead. Confirm ground power has dis been disabled on all three stages. All stage powers down. And to all operators, vehicles on internal power. Pressing locks. PLS, flight on mission call. Go ahead. Please disable anti geysering and confirm. Pressing Kiro. Confirmed, disabled. Stage 1, confirm stage 1 is pressed. Stage 1 pressed. Stage 2, confirm stage 2 is pressed. Stage 2 is pressed. AV battery checks. High flow engine approach active. Commanding deluge on. Kelly John. Radiating GNC systems. Rereading engines. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three. First motion. As you just saw, we've had successful liftoff of Rocket Lab's STP-27RD mission on That's a Funny Looking Cactus. The next major milestone Make we're coming up range. to is Max-Q, or Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. Is this is where the forces on the vehicle are at their greatest during flight. So let's listen in.
coming up on Max Q. Next queue. And there you have it. Electron is passed through max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. State run propulsion is nominal. Coming up soon, Electron will go through a series of key mission milestones in relatively quick succession. Starting with main engine cutoff, or MECO, the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage will shut down in preparation for remaining. stage two separation. Following this separation, we'll see ignition of the vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage. Speed is two kilometers per second. Entry and burnout detect mode. Five seconds remaining. State run Miko. Stage suppression succeeded. Stage two engine started. As you can see, we have had Miko or main engine cutoff. Electron's first and second stages have separated from each other, and the vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage will continue onto orbit. Very soon, we will see the fairing jettison and fall away from the vehicle. The fairing protects the payloads during ascent, but it isn't needed once we ascend to the thinner parts of the atmosphere. Fairing separate. And there it goes. Electron's fairing has been jettisoned to make way for payload deployment approximately 50 minutes from now. With the fairing gone, Electron continues towards orbit. Everything is looking great so far. Guidance remains nominal. This is Mission Control Auckland. Electron is performing as expected, and we're continuing on a nominal trajectory. Go, Electron! Stage 2 propulsion is nominal. If you're just joining us, we've had successful launch of the STP-27RD mission aboard Electron. We've had stage separation, and Electron is continuing onto orbit. Mission Control Auckland checking in with you live during Electron's launch of the STP-27RD mission. As you can see, Stage 2 is continuing on its journey to orbit. Our next major milestone will be the battery hot swap. If you've watched our previous launches, you'll be familiar with this process, but if you're just joining us for the first time, here's what happens. Electron's Rutherford engines use electro electric pumps powered by lithium polymer batteries, but once these batteries are depleted, they're just dead weight. To overcome this, we perform a hot swap, where we switch over power from the depleted batteries to a fully charged one, Beginning providing a more efficient ride to orbit. So look out for the battery jettison shortly.
equals to the safe gate. AFTS is safe. H for directory hot swap. H for battery eject. Stage two propulsion one. As you can see, we've had successful hot swap and jettison of the depleted battery. Stage two pr propulsion is nominal, and our trajectory is looking good. Hundred seconds remaining. Speed is five point five kilometers per second. Altitude is one nine eight kilometers. Just a bit of a recap for the launch of the STP twenty seven RD mission on Electron. We've had successful ignition, stage one burn, and stage separation, and we're now following stage two as it continues onto orbit, transporting three satellites During for a stage, stage two test detect mode. This burn will continue until around T plus nine minutes, and then our kick stage will separate. So we've got about one minute left before stage two engine shutdown. Thirty seconds remaining. Ten seconds remaining. Engine shut down. Transfer orbit looks good. Transfer orbit looks good. 